Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to Ram Overload. Today I'm going to be talking about two Windows customization platforms that are available and pretty popular in the market and just basically comparing the two and saying, uh, you know, my thoughts on each one of them and whether one is better than the other. All right, as you guys can see already, on the left-hand side, we have Windhawk, and on the right-hand side, we have Rainmeter. Rainmeter has been out for a little while now, and it's probably the more known application, right? When first someone starts looking into Windows customizations, Rainmeter is the first thing they come across. Okay, Windhawk is still relatively new, I believe, right? Um, but regardless, it still has a decent community behind it. All right, so yeah, let's get started. Um, let's talk about ease of use, Windhawk versus Rainmeter. So Windhawk definitely wins this one, okay? Windhawk is basically you just install it and then it has an application and in that application you can kind of, um, over here, let's just show you. So you can click here, whichever plugin or mod you want to install, click details, and then you just install it and it gives you like details on how to run it, All right? So it's pretty simple right and really easy to use as well as install on the other hand rain meter right um rain meter has a lot more customizations and you know every um theme that you install is can be slightly different right so they have different widgets and to enable disable the widgets can be different so it is a little more complicated on getting that set up and well getting that properly set up with the correct widgets you want Okay, so yeah, definitely ease of use. Windhawk is definitely um, uh, winning on that terms, right? Um, next one, customization options. So Windhawk is relatively new, like I mentioned. So there aren't that many options, okay? So we do have um, over here, let's just go explore. And you can see the, the top plugins or the top mods have around 100K. Uh, a little more than 100k users, right? Which is relatively um, low compared to, uh, you know, the user base of uh, Windows customizations, right? And, you know, you can create your own mods and things like that. But uh, definitely it's, um, you know, it's very limited in the sense of what it can do, but um, what it, the things it can do, some of them are really useful, all right? While on the other hand, rain meter is pretty much limitless okay so it is community they both are community based but uh rain meter has a much bigger community so let's go discover you can go uh, download from here from reddit uh, the forums discord lifehacker so it has a really large community and there are a lot more plugins and themes available for rain meter right um so if you do want a lot of variety and uh, most likely you will find it in rain meter uh, as compared to windhawk okay so windhawk and uh, another thing windhawk is more of uh, customizing certain aspects of your computer so like the toolbar or um, so each mod is like styling one specific thing uh, while on rain meter when you install a theme it kind of puts everything uh, together right whether it's um uh, fixing the toolbar on the bottom or changing the toolbar, adding some widgets to the desktop, the, uh, having a live background, things like that, right? So it's very different in terms of how it gives you the plugins. Okay, um, so yeah, uh, as far as customize, customizability, Rainmeter definitely wins on that end, right? With the pretty much unlimited um, options available. All right. Um, next to the community they both are community driven they're both open source so you know rain meter has been out there a lot longer than windhawk so it definitely has a much larger community but i believe the windhawk community is um growing right um you know it's not as much as fast as i'd like but it definitely is growing and um you know even for you guys, if you guys are interested, click uh, create your own plugins and, you know, add to the community. It helps out everyone. But yeah, uh, Rain Meter wins on that aspect with um, uh, the unlimited community as well. Pricing wise, they're both free, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, and then last but not least, we'll talk about resources on your computer. So Windhawk uses very little resources. So, you know, um, 
it, it's not really much styling options available but even when you do have them on it uses less than like 10 megabytes of ram on in the background right um and even for the most part it'll be a lot less than that uh, while on the other hand, Rain Meter can you end up using a lot of resources, right? So depending on the theme you have and what the theme is exactly doing, it could be using a lot more resources and even showing performance issues on your computer. So, you know, you do need to be wary of that when using Rain Meter. Uh, you kind of want to have a balanced approach and not have it too customized where you're getting performance issues. But, um, you know, just enough to actually see a difference in customizability, right? So, yeah, um, overall score, you know, it's kind of hand in hand. Um, I would kind of give it to Rain Meter slightly more, mainly because of the customizability options. But, you know, Windhawk is a close second, right? Um, you know, I really love that Windhawk um, as far as performance issues. It's really great on that. You know, I wish they did have a little more customizability options. But, um, yeah, I have to give it a rain meter on this one. So, yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are, what your favorite themes are for both uh, rain meter or mods or plugins for Windhawk. Let me know. You know, I'd love to try it out and, you know, help you guys out if you have any questions or comments. Other than that, make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming up about uh, styling your computer. So, you know, stay up to date on that. Other than that, peace out.